Mr. Nader, be kickoff party for your campaign. I see a whole bunch of supporters. I'm going to film so people can see the impact. But how fast did time go? It feels like it was the end of the day, Mr. Nader. Last November 2018, I was uh, elected to represent Yonkers, 90th district. That was uh, a superior moment in my life. You know, as an educator for 40 years, you know, for me, that was like the cherry on the top. You know, to be able to go to Albany and fight on behalf of Yonkers and public education, health care, and housing. And for me, I look back and I say, wow, two years. I've gone to Albany and what, you know, to, to express how important Albany is and how serious of a mission, I've made it my business to attend every single session in Albany for the last 14 months. And I've made sure that our staff and our office are so active, proactive with legislation, trying to initiate change. I have nearly two dozen bills legislative bills that some have been signed already and approved and we're moving ahead. And today is the re-election kickoff for 2020. Uh, it's February 22nd. People say, why early? Because we as the legislative body uh, through voter reform have a new primary date, which is June 20, June 26. And uh, that primary date... Music is coming up. Mr. Nader, I hope people can still hear me. The last election when you were running, I spoke with you and you said to me, people should vote based on records. Not on likes, but based on proven records. Exactly. What have you accomplished that people should give you another chance to finish or continue doing what you've been doing? My record, I went to Albany as someone with experience, with determination, with a track record. And as I stated, in Albany, my track record as a legislator is, 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 in my opinion, as an educator, an A-plus grade because of legislation, of participation, of speaking up on the right issues. I put forth bills and legislation that will fight the inequity in funding for public education. I've initiated, I put my words in action to what I determined to be necessary for our city. So guys, actions, not words. At the end of the day, you should vote for the person that has the proven record of accomplishing the things that they promised during campaign time. So Mr. Nate is counting on you. If you believe that he's the man for the job, vote for him. Coming up, don't just talk about it, come out and vote. That's what really counts, right Mr. Nader? That's right. And this final moment, don't forget how important the census is. Make oh, that's sure right. everyone fills out the census because it gives us the funds and yonkers in the state we need. Important. So you you count, you count, I count, me, Senator count. And the only way we count is if we fill up that census. Correct? Thank you, sir. Don't do nothing. Good morning. My name is Sahar, chairman of the Young Democratic City Committee. And I just want to welcome you here this morning to uh, support our friend and our neighbor and our subdivision, the Honorable Dean of Sage. Hello, sir. How you doing? The Honorable Dean of Good to see you, man. The Honorable Dean of Sage. And what he wants to tell you first and foremost right now is breakfast is served. So, buffet. Help yourself, and then we'll start the uh, program in a little bit. Okay. Right, as we want to say, that's, right? That's exactly Good job. That's exactly it. That's right? exactly it. Yeah, yeah, what's that? Wait, let me go. Let me move out of the way. Yeah. Oh, How are you,
would introduce the president of the College Democrats of New York State. Destiny. Hi, Destiny. 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 I will come back in a minute. Let me just tell you if you have a few words. David from Oh, okay. Ken Jenkins. Okay, good. Okay. What? Let's go. Focus on me. Forget about everybody else, right? Exactly. That's the man. I used to be the man. You're still the man. Now he's, now he's the king. <laughs> 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 So who is he? What makes him number one? Tell us, Jerry. He's the crown. If you want to win an election in Yonkers, crown prince? Yeah. listen, if you want to win an election in Yonkers, you need his blessing. No, no, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. You heard it from very Jerry. Kind, very kind words. Miss Laguerre and Mrs. Laguerre from CSE right here. That's right, representing and supporting uh, Nader, Nader Sage. He's my kind of assemblyman. He stands up. He stands up for what's right and what's real and what's happening in our school. So we need to give him another term to continue doing what he's been doing, correct? Absolutely. We hope that all the people in our school and throughout Yonkers come out and vote for Nader. Mr. Laguerre, do you, do you, you agree? Know, I, I am a very strong supporter of Nader because he's a man of integrity and commitment. He's also an educator of our children. He says, I'm committed to children my whole life. I'm going to be there for Nader and I'm encouraging all the people of Yonkers, particularly those who have children and all in the public schools, to support Nader Sage. He's a wonderful educator and an incredible person who I strongly support. Now, for those who don't know Mr. Laguerre, even though I think everyone in Yonkers does, Mr. Laguerre is the founder of the CSEE on Warburton, which is expanding to high school and more schools are coming up in Yonkers, correct? I'm, I'm looking forward to having another replica of what we're doing and bring another 1,100 kids, you know, into quality education opportunities. Thank so you, sir, and thank you for serving Yonkers. Thank you. Bob, sorry I have to interrupt your meal. You do? Why is that? Well, because I have to ask an important question. Okay. How did they get to be so handsome and charming? Yep. <laughs> Bob, yeah. how important it is to give Mr. Nader another turn? Nader Sage is the most caring person one could really meet in terms of his service to his people. Somebody that I have known for so many years, always looking out for others. That's all that says it all. Yes. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Dr. Robotti, nice to see you. Always a pleasure. Great event going on today. Yes. Kickoff party for Mr. Nader for the 9th District. How important it is to give him another, another term to complete the work that he started. Well, I think if 
you look at Nader's track record with education and all the funds that he's secured for the Board of Education, he's brought a crowd of people here today that believe in him, and he set a testament of how the assembly should be run. So setting it off today with the big crowd here, with a huge fundraiser, lets everyone know that he means business and he's in this for another two years. Now, uh, Dr. Robati, I, I strongly believe that votes should not be given to candidates based on likes or knowing the person, knowing somebody who knows him, but on record, proven record. How do you feel about that? I think Nader's record is definitely something he should be proud of. Pick his head up. You look at the topics that he's addressed so far. He was able to secure with Senator Shelley Mayer the fund that um, allowed Yonkers to pave that entire Central Avenue area and make the road safer. Um, the fund that he secured for education, also for the Department of the Age with Kelly Chiarella, he was able to secure a fund a couple of weeks ago. He also had a flu shot for the community uh, day uh, last Friday, which we were a part of at St. John's Hospital. So he's done many things that he should be proud of. We're looking forward to hopefully another strong two more years for Nader to establish a better return for the Board of Education. This next census is really going to determine how much more we get for Yonkers, and NATO plays a big role with that, along with Shelley Mayer. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Where is the... Where, oh, my dear, Shelley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Senator... That's our senator, Shelley Mayer. <laughs> senator, I have to ask you just one question. Yes. The senator? Uh, senator. No, wait, wait, we're talking though, Ruth. I, I'm sorry to interrupt, okay. but you know, it's Go so ahead. many people no, and, right. and election minute. time, it's so minute. important. Okay. It's minute. just one minute, I'm sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Senator, I'm all about action, not words. What really matters at the end of the day is action. And it's what matters is that we vote on people that have a record. Of accomplishment, accomplishments, yes. and revote them so they can continue. How you feel? I see. I know that you support Mr. Nader, but talking to the community, let's talk about vote based on record. What people have done. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nader has distinguished himself already in the beginning of his, you know, having served for one term. He's already out there fighting, talking about Yonkers, talking about school funding all the time. He's going to do his very best to get Yonkers what it deserves. Uh, he's been a very outspoken person on behalf of the diverse communities of Yonkers. He's proud of it. He really celebrates it, and he talks about legislation that will help preserve our diversity. Uh, in the Assembly, he is a person who speaks in their conference and speaks up for the things that his constituents care about, and that's why we're so very proud to have him there and look forward to more years. So I'm sure that you're confident that voting for Mr. Nader is the right thing to do. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, on those words, thank you, Senator. Mr. Yes. Romano. Yes. Who don't know this man? And if you don't know him, shame on you. Mr. Romano, tell us. Campaign is, is running, you're running, tell us about your platform. I know this is about Mr. Nader, but since I have you here, I couldn't lose pass on the opportunity. Thank you, thank you. Go ahead. As, as a judicial candidate, I'm not allowed to just say too much about uh, you know, what my platform is, but I'm, certainly I'm going to ensure that the, uh, the new bail reform laws are properly implemented as, as a judicial candidate. As, as well as uh, the other laws that have been recently passed concerning landlord-tenant and tenants' rights in the city of Yonkers. But uh, I will rely on my last 30 years of experience to bring that to uh, fruition and uh, do the best I can for the people in the city of Yonkers. So we should talk soon before the, you know, before the election. Absolutely. So we can communicate to the people of Absolutely. Yonkers where you stand and why they should vote for you. Sir. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.